Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to sunny, sunny, sunny Weymouth. T-shirt weather again. Yeah. Right. It is Thursday. I know that because the bin men have been. It is quarter to one. I know that because I put a battery in my clock. And I've got lots and lots of jobs to do today. So I need to... First of all, well, not first of all, I'm doing it a little bit at a time. I'm cutting that hay, that's all I've got left of that hay, into smaller pieces so that I can. It's just when I put them on places like this and then I want to plant in it. You can buy it, but it's nothing just to sit there. Um, that's where I, pl oh, I planted my carrots there. Um, so I put that hay over the top and that should keep the soil damp for them to fer not fertilise. Well, you know what I mean. To grow. If it stays damp. Right. Oh, i got lots of tea bags. I've got a little... I've got a piece of card here. Look, telling me what to do. Telling me what to tell you. I've got tea bags here for the worms. So I'm just splitting them. Um, now, remember I said about... Um, ouch! Sorry. Just walked into a plant pot. Remember I said about that roof over there, I'm doing the bamboo, or well, the offcuts of the bamboo. I'm going to put a little fence around here by just banging them in like that. Um, it's not going to be high. Maybe, maybe that high. Uh, because Boris keeps digging here, and I'm frightened that uh, I've had to put that there, which I'm gonna. I want to move, and I've got that tree there that will be moving shortly, and I just don't want him digging these hyacinths up. So that's what's going to happen there. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the hyacinths and daffodils that are growing here. The daffodils are fine at the minute, but the hyacinths I want to get up and put into pots. Because um, I should be giving some of them away. I've been trying to move the bins around my shed. This is all things that I'm hoping to get done. Maybe not today, but very soon. Oh, little dicky bird on the um, on the bird feeders. Well, around the back there, I'm trying to sort the bins out. I'm not going to disturb them. Um, this comfrey that's been growing in here for the last six to eight months. It's growing again. I'm going to take that round to the big garden and plant it there because I haven't got any comfrey there. And also, just the old bits of wood that again is round the back there, I need to chop down to um, fire size so that when I do have a fire in here, uh, I don't have to mess around chopping it all. Right, what have I been up to? I've planted some flowers in pots there and I've planted some of the gladioli bulbs that I had, the tiny ones in there. I'm going to leave them in there and see what happens if they get big, too big, then I'll put them in another pot, about a litre pot I think. See what happens with them. If they flower, brilliant. If they're too young to flower, then I shall just wait until next year by leaving them in the litre pots. Uh, like I said, I've planted my carrots. I planted some carrot seeds in there. So that's my first planting of carrots outside. I got all the hay that I needed to put on these beds here. Uh, you can see I've been cutting a lot of them out or down because I've been taking them round for Eli, my rabbit, which a lot of you people didn't know that I had him, but I have kept mentioning him. 
I've done all the lids for here now. They're not the proper ones, but they've got lids. And I've been able to screw them all down, even just like, you know, that. Nothing too drastic so that I can get into them if I want to. This one isn't screwed down. Obviously, I need to get into it to get um, water out of it. But I would like another one here, but we can wait for that. We'll be able to wait for that. Right, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to start with that there. I won't be able to get far because I ain't got enough sticks, but then you get the gist of what I want to do there. Okay, I believe you can see. So I'll find the one with the flattest top. And just bang it down there. I'd like them to be quite close together like this. Um, to go all the way around here. But we'll see how we get on. I'll do them like that for now. Oh, I'm getting cramp in my leg. Oh, ouch. Right, I'm going to get on with that a minute. Now, I've done what I can around there for now. It's not brilliant, but you get the gist, like I said, of what of what I'm doing. I don't know if you can really see it properly, but I don't know what it is about this year. But I'm feeling really excited about it. I mean, sorry, I always feel excited about it, but even more this year. I don't know why. I'm going to grow more flowers this year, but I don't think that's got anything to do with it. Now, look, something is eating my daffodils. Anybody knows what it is, what I should do? Is it the birds coming down and pecking them or? I don't know. I've got one there that's sort of okay. I mean, I wasn't expecting a lot of daffodils in here because they were I think they were only tiny bulbs I can't remember yes they were tiny bulbs they what somebody else gave me so yeah but yes getting back to this year I don't know what it is I'm just like so excited about everything about everything right what's next I've got to point you somewhere where this top corner's dark. Would you believe it? I've lost my scissors. I cannot find them anywhere. Anyway, yeah, because I wanted to carry on with that. Um, I haven't done much more. I've got the higher sense out of here. And potted them up trying to get these daffodils out I don't think they're going to come up so I think I'm going to have to leave them in there I will take them out but I'm going to leave them in there and keep them for myself uh, I will take them out and try and get them in pots so I can give them away and I think next year when these die down what I'll do is I'll take them pull them up dry them off until next year and then put them in pots I think I was a bit silly putting them in there really so there they are I put wood chips over the top to make them look more woodland like I think they look nice <laughs> oh dear I must find my scissors now I've decided, I have, I've decided to try and sort my pots out into sizes. Um, at the minute I'm emptying this and then I've got 
that to empty. That's got loads in. There's bags and bags under there. Um, but I'm getting to do this bit first, so let's carry on with that. I'm not cleaning them until I need them. Okay. That's that bit sorted out. You know when you first start off gardening and you collect every little plastic pot, every container that you can find, just in case it might come in handy. Well, I'm trying to get rid of all them. But all of these eventually, I intend on filling them up with something and giving it away. I think that's why I'm so excited this year, because I've got the time. I've got more time to do that. So I've emptied this. All that's left in there is spiders. So now what I'm doing is trying to sort out in here. The top layer is big ones. So I might, if I've got a lot of one of the big ones... Or I can stack them. I'm going to put them back in here. And with these, I don't know. I did actually think of um, these. If I can find like six different flowers that I'm growing, um, I can maybe put, put them in there. And then whoever takes them on have got six different flowers to put out in the garden and these oh blooming spiders oh my god Ugh. I hate them then I can put maybe three different um, it's coming towards me it can smell the fear yeah anyway I eventually will get every one of these filled not this year Maybe next year. Right, so I'm going to get on with that one now. Like I said, that's got the bigger pots in, like that size. I've got pots in there with no bottoms in. So what I was thinking of doing with them is putting them in my flower bed at the bottom. Because I can half dig them in the ground and plant something in them. So just to lift the back part up a bit higher. We'll see. They always come in handy, the bottomless pots. They do. I found all my rings which I used for my carrots before. So I might be using them this year. I might not. I have got a plan for my carrots. Um, although I've planted some... I think I'm chewing on a bug. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, although I've got carrots in there, I obviously want to grow more carrots. And that's my parsnip bed now. And I was going to grow bigger... Can't look at them flowers. Bloody awesome, aren't they? In these... See that big brown bin there? I've been collecting them. They're what we in the UK put our waste food in. A lot of people don't use them and they just like, when there's a storm, you don't know where to take them back to. Or they just don't want them and throw them out in the street. I found them on just waste ground and just pick them up. So i got quite a few of them now. So I'm going to plant maybe four carrots in them so I'll get some quite longish ones um, yeah I have got other plant pots I can grow carrots carrots in them but yes I've got all this to sort out and there's a few pots in there not many I'm trying to get all this sorted out. I've got the four bins in line there. I've got to fill that up with water again 
and put more weeds in because that's like I've been around the whole of the allotment and I have um, neatly poured all that on. I'd call it like a weed tea because it was just weeds that I left in there for last year, the whole of last year. So, yes, I want to get all this sorted out, and but I am going to have a lot more time on my hands this year. Yippee! So, from sunny Weymouth, I'm going to let you get on and do whatever it is that you want to do for the rest of the day. Evening, morning. And I found my scissors. They were on that table hidden behind my saw. So yes, from sunny Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.